I'm Daniel Kraft. I'm a physician, uh, scientist, and innovator, and I chair the medicine track at Singularity University. And on our executive program in Brazil, we'll be talking about the future of medicine and how exponential technologies are increasingly playing a role in the present and the future of both health, wellness, um, and medicine in general. It's only been 10 years since the first genome was sequenced at a cost of billions of dollars. We're now at the point where the cost of sequencing an individual's genes uh, is less than $5,000, and soon will probably be less than $100. That has lots of implications upon understanding our own uh, physiology, our own genes, our own um, risks and profiles, and the ability to leverage that into healthcare, both for prevention and therapy. We're now early in the era of using embryonic stem cells in clinical trials, for example, in treating spinal cord injury, but we're also using adult stem cells, for example, from the bone marrow to treat heart disease, such as Chagas disease, which is, and we'll soon be in an era where you can take a skin cell, reprogram that cell to be a pluripotent stem cell that can turn into any tissue type in your body. And we'll soon have the ability to integrate that with other technologies, such as 3D printing, to be the early stages of generating personalized 3D printed organs. Another area in healthcare that's changing dramatically uh, would be that of mobile health and information technology. We're at the point now where soon almost all medical records, instead of being scribbled on paper uh, and difficult to read, I can't understand my own handwriting, will be digital. And then digital health records or electronic health records will enable us to mine data from across massive data sets, to integrate genetic information, to integrate um, and translate that information to both individuals so they understand their own health, but also to clinicians so we can better um, diagnose and treat individuals, both for prevention and therapy. So there are now over 20,000 medical and health applications on mobile phones like the iPhone and the Android. This is one simple example. It uses the light source and camera to monitor my pulse in real time. And by leveraging the type of technologies that are already embedded in our mobile devices and the sensors that are developing exponentially, we'll better be able to manage and detect important health-related information. And soon, the mobile phone will essentially be the Star Trek tricorder of the future. Another area in medicine that is increasingly on the exponential is that of computational speed. You're aware of Moore's Law, well, faster computing means, for example, much better and faster imaging. So we can now look inside the body in different ways, integrating technologies like CT scans, MRI scans, reconstruct that data, and use that to both you know, diagnose, track therapeutics, look inside the brain in, in real time, um, and soon uh, we'll be entering the integration of that with robotic surgery, the ability to take data and present that to a surgeon who's operating sometimes remotely from across the world, um, and to reconstruct and plan surgeries, for example, ahead of time. And you'll learn about the future of health and medicine. It's really, I think, the epitome of where exponential technologies can come to play as we bring to bear the elements of, of mobile technology in terms of having a doctor in your pocket, artificial intelligence, big data, your own genetic information, for example, lower cost point-of-care diagnostics, um, the ability now to track your own information with devices such as this little Fitbit in the era of what's called quantified self. All those areas are converging quickly and on the exponential trend to really change the face of both wellness, prevention, healthcare, and advanced medical therapy.